Namaste and good morning to everybody that joins us every morning from the Ashram for Unfoldment for the message for the day. Now yesterday we were speaking about our call and one of the one of the viewers in YouTube answered that what about if, if you are not clear about your calling, if, if you don't know what is your call? Well, as I explained yesterday, um, your call resolves itself. In reality, you don't need to worry too much. Your patternings and your conditionings that are there through the process of evolution, i.e. through the patternings that you have inherited from your parents and the, parent the patternings they inherited from their parents and so on and so forth of your evolutionary lineage, if you want to look it from the evolutionary point of view, or if you believe in other lifetimes from other lifetimes, it doesn't matter. The question is that you have certain patternings and some of them may be in conflict. So the combination of those patternings with the circum circumstances that have grown at the same time with the circumstances resolve itself. So the only thing you can do for that respect is to clarify the mind, clarify the mind of their own, its own conflicts, because the conflicts that are in the patternings will reflect or are reflected in the circumstances. In fact, are reflected because it's a simultaneous process. In fact, every, every conflict that exists within the patternings of your mind is every day manifested one way or another. So in fact you have every day all the elements you need to resolve all conflicts. So again, the only way, the only thing you can do is to clarify the mind. So for this respect, uh, January 4th, this is the message for today, meditation dissolves impression. We go back to meditation techniques, to spiritual practices. I tell you, it is an absolutely necessary tool in this path. So, taking into consideration that this universe works by its own, the only thing you can do is, in the workings of your own patternings, clarify them or clean them of all the existing conflicts there. That is why in all spiritual traditions you speak about the spiritual sadhana or the 40 days in the desert or the purification of... So you need to purify which is like, like in butter and ghee, you need to clarify it of all the dirt. Meditation gives the mind the stillness to set aside that whole universe that is the mind and allow a greater force to pass through it. Because of this, the heart, the core of the personality, is the vehicle or gateway. This process begins at the level of the mind, which consciously makes the initial effort, which requires discipline, until the mind reaches a deeper level. Things at the subtle level are infinitely more powerful as we go to the deeper part of the mind and gather greater strength and power, we use this strength to overcome the conditioning of the mind. So it is an essential tool in this path, meditation, meditation techniques. And the appropriate rhythm is 20 minutes meditation in the morning, 20 minutes meditation in the evening, and it has to be a well-designed method of meditation. There are many around, and our society teaches the path of unfoldment, uh, which includes a protocol of meditation techniques, which is very, very complete, and you can learn in our platform. It is good that you experience a whole range of thoughts and emotions during meditation. It is good in the sense that, without suffering, you are dissolving the impressions instead of living those experiences in daily life, where they could be so painful. 
Such are the divine forces at work in these practices that you awaken the dormant within you. You awaken beauty. Most people live life as a beautiful cocoon, but that cocoon has to be nurtured and cared for in order for it to open and fulfill its dharma. So to fulfill is da your dharma, which is your call at the end of the day, uh, to put into motion these forces, these energies that meditation brings is absolutely essential. Meditation awakens virtues and positive qualities in you that you need to realize. So, the practice for today, and remember it's only one day, and uh, today is going to be very simple. Do your meditation. 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening, uh, ideally, and if you've learned with us, 20 minutes of mantra meditation, 20 minutes of tratak meditation, if you mm, have learned any other kind of meditation, whatever meditation you are practicing, 20 minutes in the morning when the day starts, 20 minutes in the evening when you give an end to the day, and remember, it's only one day, make the best of it, and a well-lived life are many well-lived days, one after another. Thank you very much, namaste, and have a beautiful day.